everyone. Just waiting to see if we get some people coming on. I'm going to be on here for a little bit. Got my uh, little apron on here. Uh, I don't know how well you can see me. Let me step back a little bit. I'm in the uh, back area of my studio, and I'm about to start on this uh, piece right here. Uh, I think it's about 36 by 48. If I can, it's a raw canvas. I've already, I've I've already uh, a gesso the canvas. So this is a yard stick. I mean, um, rather a 48 inch uh, 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 ruler. So we got 48. So it's roughly 36 by 48. It's a little bit more. Um, uh, around the edges, a couple of inches around the edges. So it's more like a 40, uh, uh, 52 by 40, you know, but once I stretch it, um, it'll come out to about a 36 by 48. So a lot of times I paint on canvases like this, I tack them to the wall. Um, it's better for storage because when I have it on the stretcher board, it's kind of hard to store them. So having it on the, uh, Having it on the raw canvas when I get done, I can roll them up and then stretch them when I'm about to show or I do an exhibition. I don't know why I, I, I think my shirt shrunk uh, when I was washing. So wash my clothes. I think I left this in the dryer a little bit too long. <laughs> but anyway, what I want to paint right now, I'm just kind of up in the air. I haven't decided on. Uh, what I'm going to put on here, but I do know that I want to start a background. So I've made these tools right here, and I have a few of them. Oops, I just knocked my one light out over here. Let me put this light back on over here to show you guys. I know it's getting close to bedtime for some people, but. You don't see it today, you can see it another day. <laughs> but anyway, so here are some of the brushes that I use. And you can see they're on a the long pole here, a little closer so you can kind of see the brush. And I have them on these long poles, like these different brushes. And this one right here is on a, actually on a, as you can see, it's on a branch from a tree. And this is to kind of get myself started and loose. I like to start my canvases. So I got a variety. So I think I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to go with this one on the tree branch and start with that one. And what I want to do is I'm just going to get some black paint on here. And listen, this is live. If anybody has a question, a comment, or anything, you want to know what I'm doing. But look, this is how I'm getting started with this piece right here. I'm going to put a little bit of water on the brush, too. I'm going to get the, get it a little wet, get a little bit of water on it. And I also have a, uh, a spray bottle here, if I can find it. I have a spray bottle. I just got to put some more water in here. But I'm just going to get started with a little bit of just making some motions. I'm just going to put some shapes on here and things like that. I want to, but I don't want to be so much in control. And that's all I'm doing. This is acrylic paint on a canvas that's already been stretched. I mean, not stretched, but it's already had the gesso. Uh, on there, so I'm going to get rid of this one right here and I'll get it in some water. And then I'm going to go with this little tip one right here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go with this one. You can see the tip right here. I'm going to get right in that black paint. Let me get some more water on here. Let me get some more black paint. All right, so I think that's all I'm going to do with these right here right now. Then 
I'm coming over here. I'm going to get a little bit of gel medium. And I have, I like to have a matte gel medium in a tube. And what I'm going to do is, got this little brush here, and you can see right here. I'm going to take some of the gel medium. And I'm just going to put it on here and just kind of spread a little bit of that black out. Like kind of go in and put some more gel medium on. This isn't even white. This is just gel medium. I'm spreading out some of this black that's on here. All right. A little bit more. Then I'm going to get this kind of wet. Put a little black on here. And I want a little bit of, like, I want to get some water drips in here, like somewhere along here and over here. Okay, so we got that rolling right there. Now my next thing is I want to get a little bit of, I want to get a little bit of white paint. Not a whole lot, but I'm going to get a little bit of white paint. And mix some of this white paint in. Let me get a little bit out here. All right, here we go. And while we're thinking of that, let's get some music on. I think I got some royalty-free stuff here that we can get going. I just want to make sure that I don't have the music on from here. Awesome. But listen, why don't while you're because we're gonna be on here for a little bit, but when you get a chance, make sure you like my my uh Follow me on all my social media and you got my KJL Art Sanctuary podcast page. I combined the KJL Art Sanctuary page and the art with Kenneth because it was just too much going to those two pages. So I'm condensing those two. And, uh, you know, but whenever you get a chance, you know, like uh, my theft stuff. And then also let me get my ticker going. If you'd like to donate to the channel as well you can do it through the app and also the other ways that you could uh contribute i have uh, a gallery and museum tours that i'm going to be doing i've already shot footage at three different galleries i just haven't uploaded the videos yet but i travel around to do these things i interview gallery owners and uh so you'll get to see some of that footage and then the art history that i'm going to be doing as well so here we are. Let me turn that music down a little bit. I don't want to overpower my voice too much. I hope you can hear me pretty well. I don't know if there's any comments in there. If there's anyone watching and they can't hear me, let me know if I need to do anything with the volume. All right. So, so far, you see what I got going here. Again, I'm staying kind of loose. I'm not. There's not anything in particular I'm doing just yet. And I like to start like this. And then what I'll do to kind of, I got a blow dryer right here, but to kind of speed the drying process and to take a little bit of the paint, I'll take wax paper. And what I'll do is I'll just rub the wax paper on here. And you see what it does? It takes a little bit of the paint off of it. And I can use this for collage later. Like if I want to collage this onto a piece. And I don't even care. I, I put some of the paint back on. But basically I'm taking a lot of, of the paint off. I'm speeding up the drying process. Because most of this stuff you won't see anyway at the end. You're not going to see uh, most of this stuff on here. Now, I'm just winging it right now. Because again, I have multiple series. And they usually all start out with some type of abstract background. So... 
once I get going, then I'll decide on whether I want it to be in my pencil point people, whether I want it to be in my collage series. But as I'm going along, I'm going to, you know, pretty much figure that out. And I try not to have too, uh, next to me a, a, one of those style paintings that I can segue into. I always try to have something a little different. Like, as you can see out right over here, you can see I'm kind of working on painting this picture of this lady over here. And then I have something completely different on this other side over here. So again, it's kind of got dry. Now I'm going to start figuring out uh, some of the colors that I want to put in here. So I think I'm going to start me a little bit of, a little bit of like a magenta. And I'm going to get, I'm going to get a brush. Roughly about this size, about a two and a half inch. Basically take it. I'm going to start getting some of this paint on here. Now, this is pretty transparent. You can kind of see some of the, you see some of the paint through here. Again, a lot of this is going to go away um, in the end, a lot of it. But we're not concerned about right now. We're just staying loose and free. At this point, we're staying completely loose and free. And then there's something I want to add to it, which I meant to do. Let me grab this over here real quick. I forgot that I wanted to actually make some lines and with some oil pastel. I meant to do that before I got to this point. So I need to put some gloves on because that gets all on your fingers and stuff. The oil pastel. Well, I've just got to put in my gloves. Okay, let's get some gloves over here. All right. Now, I put the gloves on again, as I say, because the oil, it's oil pastel and it gets all in your fingers then i gotta clean it with ah, i don't be wanting to go through all of that so i put my glove on so this is the only point where i kind of got to put my gloves on everything else i'm dealing with acrylic paint but this like i said these little oil pastel sticks they'll get on your fingers and everything so what i'm gonna do is i got i'm gonna take a few of these sticks i'm just gonna make some marks all around here no rhyme or reason and you got to be careful when you got that thing. I always prick this one finger that I'm doing that with. So let me find. Got a little piece here. Yes, abstract. I'm not trying to make anything in particular at this point. I'm just marking this up right now. I'm gonna take a little bit of this black. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. Here we go, right here. Again, most of this stuff you're not gonna see in the end. But I don't know why I can't find the colors that I want right now. Actually, I'm not trying to pick any one in particular. All right, that's enough of that. Hold on, let me put a little green in here. <laughs> Wouldn't be not without getting a little bit of this green in here. All right, that's enough of that. And we're gonna get back to putting some paint on here now. All right, so let's back to the paint. I use like the Nick Pro, and uh, pretty it's pretty heavy, like kind of a medium to heavy body paint. And uh, you know, I pretty much like the the way that it uh, applies to the canvas. So I'm getting a little bit more of that. 
Start putting it in here. Remember what I told you, most of this stuff is going to go anyway, so not really too concerned at this point right now of anything. Notice I didn't even change the, I didn't change the, um, clean out my brush. I didn't want to clean out my brush for this just yet. Again, this, again, most of this is going to be covered up. So my thing is just get this canvas covered, get it covered. Let's get this covered. I guess I am going to clean the brush for this next color. Get a little of the green going here. so beautiful doing this it's like it looks messy in the beginning but i'm telling you as they go on they just get better and better and better as it goes on I love creating art. It's like, you can't, it's just a joy. And I like painting like late in the evening. As you can see it's kind of late. So I'm inviting you in with me. Majority of time I'm creating as, or in hours like this. Creating in hours like this. So just listen and watch for a little bit. It's coming along good. Thank you. 
Don't worry, I didn't go anywhere. I'm gonna take some more of the wax paper, take some of the paint away. I'm gonna move around a bunch of that white that I put in there. Getting that white, spreading it kind of around, mixing it a little bit with the other colors in here. You see how it's starting to come to life. And I just come back in. I want to make a couple of little marks in here. Boy, I'm telling you, I don't know what I'm going to paint. Like with this right here, I have no idea what I'm going to paint. But man, this background is already starting to look great already. So I got to just keep working with it. Man, a little tad bit of, like a little bit of brown maybe here, here. Needs a little, like maybe here too. Everything's a brush. Wow, beautiful. This I'm gonna go back over again with the wax paper. I just wanna blend these in again. And then I'm gonna come back with some fresh wax paper. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's keep getting this thing going here. All right, we're going to let me put some fresh wax paper up here because got to mix some more colors. So I am going to come back with this magenta. some white on here. I don't know if I see any comments. I'm trying to see if any comments came up. Oh, <laughs> okay. Interesting how you, let's see your comment right here. 
So Diane Hayward, interested in how you started your creation. I know I love doing like, I always like starting with these kind of, uh, let me sit here and talk to you for a minute. <laughs> I always like starting with these uh, really abstract backgrounds and then I go from there. Um, I, I can see kind of almost where I'm going here, but I still haven't just yet. But uh, thanks for tuning in. And thanks a lot. I appreciate it. That was on me. I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally put myself out of the studio. But um, yeah. So yes, that's how I like starting those out. Um, those uh, canvases out. Uh, I meant rather some of my paintings. I like starting out with these abstract backgrounds. Most of this is acrylic. I got on there. It dries pretty quickly. Um, so colors in here. I'll start going in that direction. So. Again, anybody have any comments or any questions, feel free. I'm going to keep checking and looking over here at the camera. In the meantime, if you'd like to uh, contribute to my podcast, again, I have art history. Um, I have Purvis Young. It's going to be my first documentary. I'm almost finished with that. I've done a few gallery and uh, museum tours. I'm editing those to go on. And then you'll have the art with me. And we start back in March with our Sunday morning interviews. I have a lineup of four women for the month of February. I'm at March rather for Women's History Month. I'm entering, interviewing four different women uh, each Sunday at 11 in the month of March for Women's History Month. And so again, if you donate and you make a donation of $50 plus, you get a print um, a framed print and a mug. If you do a donation of twenty dollars plus, you get a free mug, and for five to nineteen dollars, you get a free print. And actually, I'm trying to hide this now off my thing. It won't go off my screen for some reason. Okay, it went off the screen. Um, I'm going to show you. Actually, it'll be either black or or a white or so this is one of the framed pieces rather so you get a frame crease and a print um and i'm drinking out of one of the coffee mugs it's got my logo on it but it would have your you know just a piece of art on it and it's on both sides the art will be so those are the uh the gifts that i give it's free shipping for any donations let me sip my coffee and let me get back to work so Again, like I said, at this point, I'm still working wet on wet. It's kind of dry in a lot of places, but it's still very wet. So I'm going to start making some color choices a little bit more deeper. And I think I want to go a little more with, uh, let's say, I'm still here. That's what I'm talking. I don't want anybody to think I'm not here when I walk away the different spots in the studio to grab something trying to keep it uh but i'm looking for my blue and it's somewhere right oh here it is sometimes it's standing right in front of you and you don't see it and that's what was happening so now i'm gonna start doing a little bit more with this oh uh, let me get one of my brushes this one i'm gonna take it right here this is it right here Okay, now I'm gonna get some more. Get this here. Uh, so I'm bringing a little bit of the black back in.
Got that little bit of jazz going on there. They said it was copyright free. I hope I don't get no darn strikes off of this darn thing. <laughs> they said it was free. <laughs> this music. So I'm not trying to get a strike. Because you know, three strikes, you can be out. Okay. Building up some more. Remember, none of this, a lot of this you won't see in the end. I'm trying to tell you. Because <laughs> once I get what I want on here, for real, for real. But I'm just moving along. Don't worry, there's a method to the madness. Didn't think I was going to leave all that paint on there, did you? <laughs> then I'm even take this that I have. I don't want to waste anything. It'll just make its own mark on here. Okay, now... Okay, so my next thing is kind of got to get this. I don't know if this blow dryer is going to get too loud, but I'm going to blow dry just for a couple of seconds. Let's see if you got some more comments here. I haven't seen an artist at work in a long time. It's amazing to see the process, what it takes. Yes, it's uh, um, it's amazing. Like when you see the end results of some of the pieces, and not knowing that all the layers of stages that you know I may go through to do it. But what we're going to find here
All right, I think I got it somewhat dry. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this in the microwave. Hold on. <laughs> I know if, I don't know if a lot of you are like me. I cannot drink cold coffee. I don't even know how they came up with the concept of cold coffee. But anyway. <laughs> All right, I got some things I want to do. I already know. Just gonna start throwing some little lines up and down. Kind of already got an idea. Kind of composition. That's so I'm kind of reaching for. Now, I offer workshops. I offer one on one workshops. Um, you can come in here and work with me and create your own piece of artwork if you like. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. You can get the work in the studio and uh you know it's just a lot of fun to do that i offered it a few times to people he said come out hey it's a small fee come in and you know i'm just throwing with this little brush here winding me a little greenery right over here yes all I'm doing is putting these little strokes on here right now. My my, It's telling me strokes, strokes, strokes. <laughs> That's it. That's what it's telling me right now. Strokes, strokes, strokes. Sometimes I got to take a step back, take a look. This should come out really nice this year. Mixing up a little bit of green and then I put a little bit more yellow in it, added a little yellow, make it a little bit more kind of grassy green. I'm just going to take the little strokes. Okay, let's get some more. I just heard my coffee stop and I'm going to go grab it because I don't want it to get cold on me again because <laughs> I will put it right back in the microwave for sure. Wow, I like how this is starting to form. Looks like it's going to be something. It's going to have a lot more color in it. It's going to lighten up a little bit more than what it is right now. But uh, again, I'm still working on. And I kind of got let some of this dry. And I'm going to hit some other spots in a second. So I'm going to let those spots dry up a little bit. Thank you. 
Just heard the beeper go again. My coffee still haven't went over there and grabbed it. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> I don't know why I torture myself with the microwave and the coffee all the time. Just torture. Again, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just working, continuing to get this canvas covered. Uh, it's not dry enough. Sometimes you want to go faster, but <laughs> the paint is dictating how fast I go. It's not dry in enough spots <laughs> for me. But it is dry enough where I can go back and do my. For me to come back and do the uh, wax paper all the time. So I can do that. All right, I'm going to the wax paper one more time. Again, I don't care that I picked up the other paint and transferred it over here because I'm taking off paint at the same time. Same thing here. Putting it on and I'm taking it off. Now this is going to be my last step for this. This is it, the last step. It's always the best step. This last step is always the best step in this process right here. Kenny, what a waste of paint.
All right. See how we're coming? Now one more with the wax paper. Let me just get my white on here one more time. do it oh there goes my the coffee thing again <laughs> ah it's messed up i still didn't go over there and drink that, that coffee I'm doing this is I want a flat surface. I don't want this to I don't want this to be too lumpy. Um, so I'm taking I'm putting a lot of paint on, but I'm scraping it off at the same time. Uh, because I, I even though I want it to be loose, I don't want it to be uh have a lot of texture to it. I, I want this remember this is only the background for a painting. This isn't an actual painting, this is just the background uh when I start a painting. So I've been gradually working my way through what I want to see out of this. And as you can see, I'm changing as I go along. Um, I'm still working wet on wet. And, uh, you know, which I, I like working wet on wet. But after a certain point, I'll just have to let it dry for the next phase. But again, I'm going back with my wax paper. I'm taking some of the paint off that I put on again. Tones down some of that white. Again, it's toning it down. And we're going to come back up with our just plug this back in. And then we're going to come back up with this. Now, one more time, I'm coming with my long handle brush. Let me get it wet. Some paint on here. So, man, I gotta let this dry for a little bit. So, if anybody has any questions, let me see. Do we have any comments? Thank you. <laughs> yes. Hey, listen. And the thing is, uh, Diane, it's like it's going to keep changing. You see how it keeps changing as I go on here. But this is the first layer that I have on there. I'm coming across with my scraper again on this black. Now, I'll, it'll take a few minutes for that to dry up because I want to come over top of this. And this will all be a background. I'm loving it. Wish it was dry. Let me take my dryer back. Hold on. Let me get my coffee. But don't go anywhere. It had like a gazillion beeps. <laughs> 
listen, if you get a chance, uh, look at the Arts Council of Princeton. Next, I'm teaching a puppet making class. And um, so we have our, our, our last uh, rehearsal is uh, this, um, this uh, Saturday and then the performances are this Sunday. I got to plug this back in because I knocked out my camera. Looks like it's dying. There we go. But, um, so they do their performances. I made an eight foot by uh, eight foot by eight, eight feet high, eight feet wide, four foot deep puppet booth. And actually, I'll show you some pictures on here. I put them on here just so you guys can see like how big the puppet booth is I'm making. I hope I have those pictures on here. I thought I put them on here. Come on, Kenny. I know you got to have them on here somewhere. Yes, look. That's in my studio. You can see it's all the way up to the ceiling, the puppet booth. And this is me painting the faces. That's at the base in the front. I did the happy and the frowny face um as well and again if you donate to my channel for 50 dollars plus donations you get a free print a free coffee mug um 11 ounce all coffee mug with my art on it for 20 dollars plus you get a free mug and for 5 to 19 you get a free print and again so let me get back to this i'm gonna put the blow dryer on here for a second so don't get too mad at me. I got to dry the chucks up. So everything in here is kind of dark right now. So I'm going to start bringing really light colors in there. So I got to make sure, because I don't want those lighter colors mixing with these darkers. So I got to kind of make sure this is dry for a little bit. And this is the live. We got a little bit of time to be on here. You want to go grab something while I'm up. Uh, see, I have my coffee to fill a little bit of time while I dry this. If anybody has any questions, feel free. Ask me anything you want. Ask me how old I am. Hey, I know what. Give me some suggestions on what I should paint on here. How about that? Give me some suggestions of what I should paint on here. Uh-oh, let me see if I got a suggestion. Let me see if I got a suggestion on something to paint on here. How old am I? I'm 63. I just turned 63. Um, I just turned 63, uh, January 25th. And, and brother man ain't getting out of shape. <laughs> I just dislocate. I dislocated my shoulder eight months ago, and I'm telling you right now, because I have been exercising for a long time, it helped me with the healing. It only I'm at the seven month part. The doctor said it was going to take about eight months. My, I got 95 percent range. Um, I can start lifting light weights. I feel kind of funny because I'm used to playing basketball, lifting weights, and I wasn't able to do that for eight months. So I don't feel I'm in the best condition right now. But trust me, I'm on the road to recovery. <laughs> yeah. So now right now, I don't really have an idea for it just yet. Um, I'm, I'm still like uh, once I got this background, it's kind of dark. And so now I'm going to see what I can pull out of it. But someone said someone faced in that, oh, the day before my daughter's uh, birthday, Aquarius. Yep, definitely Aquarius. But um, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to continue to kind of dry it a little bit. But right now, to get those lighter colors on here, 
it's going to pick up a lot of its tanks. This is one of the things that a lot of people don't see when you are painting, that you have to go through stuff like this. I'm going to see if I can get one of the sections I want to get with the color I want on here. Let's see if it'll work. We'll know in a second. <laughs> We're going to know in a second if it's going to work, what I want to do. I hope I can do this. I hope it'll take without mixing with the paint. Looks like it will. All right, that's cool. So far, seems like it's doing okay. That's picking up a little bit of the paint underneath it right there. little peachy color down here with this little peachy color here see I'm trying to lighten it up a little bit now pick up my light spots again I'm still picking up a little bit of the paint underneath which is okay because when this dries, and you know, I, I'll probably go over these areas again because it's picking up a little bit too much of the paint, making it a little darker than what I want it to be. That's the thing of doing the dilemma of a painting like this when you're live. <laughs> See how that picked up a lot of that um, it picked up a lot of the paint underneath it. I got to get my dominant color in here. See how I'm lightening it back up And I don't even care where the paint's going Because remember I'm going to come back with My technique of I'm going to come back With the wax paper on top of this So it's going to pull some of this paint off You'll see It's dry up enough where I can kind of get some of the stuff in here I want Thank you. 
My coffee done got cold uh, freaking again. I can't believe it. I'm trying to let this coffee get cold on me again. Back to the microwave. I'm probably like, I told someone yesterday I was doing that with the coffee or the day before. I told them I was probably radioactive <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Every time I'm microwaving these darn coffees. You probably never do this many layers when it's a, me kind of doing a painting. It's crazy, ain't it? Let's get back with the wax paper. Like I told you with this wax paper, I can like create like other pieces of artwork with you know the other side of it using it as collage paper. I'm just touching up a little black around here, here and there. Where's my scraper? Where is it? I can't even put my looking for a gel press plate. I'm gonna use my gel press plate for a second. I hope my gel press works pretty good on here. So I'm using a gel press plate right now. I'm mixing this paint on here. And then I'm gonna take this little thing here, press it on this gel plate. I'm just gonna press it right here. Ah, come on. Press it on here again. 
Sometimes you can have happy little accidents. All the gel press plate is, I have the plate here, I'm putting the paint on, and I'm rolling it on, and then I'm pressing this on here. It's giving me my little bit of a design I want on this side right here. I'm do one more press. I'm gonna hit about right here. See how we got that little design starting to go on on that end there. So I'm gonna take my gel press. I'm gonna wipe that paint off. Really should have baby wipes to wipe these off, but this will do right here. I'm getting the paint off with this. So I'm gonna put my next color up. Probably wanna just, this is like a little bit of white. And I'm even gonna take this. And these are just little impressions that I'm using. Again, it's the gel press plate. Putting this on here. Put this little one here. I think I'm gonna do a little couple little things over here. Again, I can't come on too much in what I want to do because the paint is still too wet. It's just a little bit too wet for me to work with. So I'm trying to do as much as I can <laughs> until most of this paint dries on here on the picture. Try not to put too much on here. See what I'm about to do.
I'm about to check to see if anybody has written anything in here. Let's see. I'm going to check in a second and I'll answer some of the questions. I just want to get this part done right here. Oh, so Matt, I'm running out of this. I looked over there at this container for this yellow ochre, and it looked full, but it's just about empty. <laughs> Just one of those days, one of those things. It is what it is. <laughs> Remember, we're staying loose. I ain't getting too tight with this. It's abstract. I'm not trying to make nothing too representational. Because you can slip into that <laughs> easily. It gets to be a mess in here after a while when you're doing this.
Too wet. <laughs> I want to put this next to this, but this is too wet. And believe it or not, I'm going to use my scraper one more time to actually mix everything that's on here. I'm not doing this to keep this as this composition. I'm not doing this. Something with birds sound good. Yes. Hey, Janet, how you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Something with birds you're saying. <laughs> Let me think about that. But right now, this is I'm at my last stage, and now I'm gonna do my last drag, and then I gotta let it dry. So this is the last drag, and it's whatever comes out, comes out, but it's the last drag. Let me just scrape the little bit of paint off I have on my little tool here, and then and then in another couple of days, this is going to be dry. And then we're going to come finish it up. This, again, was just the background I'm creating. Remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will be able to see the next episode of this. But here it is, my last drag on this picture. And then I'm going to pick the camera up and you can kind of see. So I'm going over kind of lightly. I'm pulling, 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 pulling. Remember. Now, look like this all looked like it could almost be good, but I'm trying to tell you when you're up close on here and now you see the stuff that's left behind when I did this is amazing. So now when this dries, I really, really have the beginnings of an awesome painting when this dries. Now, I am going to see something that I want to do. I want to pull one more drag in a spot that I want to pull that I see. But I just wanted to do a little bit of something on there. I'm just not sure what it is, but I think I got the color right here. I think I want to do this just to this side here and here. I kind of want to pull this darker color here. Yes, yeah, so see how that's leaving? Like it's kind of going to do the same thing up here. See how that's kind of leaving that little bit of a purple there. Yeah, there we go. That set it off right there. Now, my last thing is I got to get some water. I'm going to get some water in here. And do I have any more clean water? I pretty much went through all of the water I had. And let me see if I got one more bucket of clean water. Oh, yes, I got up here. A little bit of clean water I'm going to put in there. God, I had this sitting up here. And there's two things I'm about to do. First, I'm going to take a little bit of water and I want to get the jet stream on there. Just going to get close and hit a couple of spots that I want to kind of drip down where the paint is still kind of wet. Give me a couple little. See right there. Give me a couple little drips. And I, and I don't want it to stay there. And this is a piece of um, bark paper. I'm going to eventually make a piece of art out of this, even as I'm touching up and dabbing this stuff here. So here we go. We're just going to, I'm going to dab some of that paint. You can still see some of the streaks where I just did that, but they're real subtle. So my next step will be with this is when this dries, is I'm going to come up and I'm going to uh, start using a little bit of the oil pastel. And then I'm going to go into whatever it is I'm creating. I'm still don't know what it is I want to create um, on this yet. Um, but it's all ready now. And I'm psyched um, for the next couple of days. I'll leave it up on the wall. I'll look at it for a couple of days. And uh, I'm going to get the camera to kind of show you. Let me turn this around. Can I turn the camera around? Uh, let's see if we can turn the camera around. Because I want you to be able to, let's see this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I think we are. I think we got it now. Okay. I'm sorry. I tried to flip it around. So I want you to look and see. I'm going to kind of go up kind of close. You can kind of see what I've done so far. And again, this is just the beginning stages, but you see, as I'm building up these layers, this is what I call a kind of call the ugly stage. <laughs> And as I said, I'm always working on a few things as you can see around in my studio. Get a kind of a little bit of a glimpse of what's going on here. So that's where I was working from over there. This is just the back area of my studio. And remember, with your donation and it's free shipping, you get a free... 8 by 10 print, print framed and 11 by 14 frame black, gold or uh, natural frame and you'll get prints either a 5 by 7 uh, framed pr um, print for $5 to $19 donation for $20 donations you get a free coffee mug you can see I'm drinking my coffee out of it that I have to microwave again. And it'll have a piece of my artwork on it on both sides. So again, you know, really, I'm going to show you here. Let's look at a couple of the. So this is my email address, kjlartsanctuary at Gmail. My website is kjlartsanctuary. On Instagram, it's KJL Artists. All of my uh, YouTubes are rebroadcast on uh, my my lives are rebroadcast on my YouTube KJL Art Sanctuary podcast. And let me just go back to that. I'm trying to do some public service announcements here, <laughs> which is always good. And I really appreciate you all for, you know, really standing here and watching uh, the video here. And again, if you wanted to donate, you can come back to the video. Uh, it's via Cash App. I'm at Square. Venmo. And Cash App. This is a picture of me doing a live painting at and uh, my exhibition in uh, St. Albans, uh, Queens. And this right here was me painting one day in my yard, one of my large paintings. This is from my series um, structure. And again, to look at the different gifts you can get with your donations because i want to keep doing these uh videos i uh, want to keep doing the interviews i got four beautiful women lined up for women's history month that i'll be interviewing um and uh you know so i hope you all just stay tuned um i can't tell you just how much uh and how grateful i am you know that you just came along and follow me with this journey but i'm telling you I want you all, if you stayed and watched this, I want you to, to um, see the, uh, the finished product. And love you guys. Peace. Much love.